turn in your Bibles to Luke chapter 15. Luke 15. And I'm just aware that we, we, we have things going on in our lives that not everyone knows about. And I'm, I'm sure that there are things happening in the lives of some of you that you haven't told anyone about. And some of those things might be good. Some of those things might be really challenging for you. I understand that. And I hope that as I share today, even though you might think, you, you might think well, I'm not a father. I'm not likely to be a father. Um, my father, I don't even know where he is. You may, there may be all of these pushback reasons that you have for thinking, well, whatever Andrew is about to say right now, it's not going to have much to do with me. And I hope to surprise you today. Not because I'm going to try and make God's word say something it doesn't say, but because I think God's word has something to say to everybody today. I want to read a statement. This comes off a psychology website. This is um, something like, similar to the American Journal of Psychology. And then I want to pray and then we'll, we'll go through this because roast. Like lamb. So. <laughs> Um, this is a report from Dr. Marie Hartwell Walker and she says this Americans, Americans seem more confused than ever about the role of fathers in children's lives on the one hand more and more fathers are absent for all or significant periods of time according to the 2006 census 23% of children under 18 do not live with their biological father, and that number is climbing. On the other hand, search fatherhood on the web and you'll find dozens of websites dedicated to teaching, encouraging, supporting men in becoming more nurturing and involved fathers. Meanwhile, many TV sitcoms and animated shows continue to portray dads as dolts. I assume that's dills. Um, uh, Dumkov. At best, well-meaning but misguided, large children whose wives have made uh, wives have have to mother them as well as their offspring. So the mothers have to mother not just their children, but but usually the fathers in these programs. I think Homer Simpson would be the pinup of Dumkoff dads, and and uh, doesn't do the role of a father much if. If you're, if you're a father here and, and your role model is Homer Simpson, we have some problems. My roast may get a little bit overdone if, if I have to address that. So shows like The Simpsons, Everyone Loves Raymond, Family Guy, etc. You'll come away with a rather skewed idea of how men function in American families. I'll leave it to the sociologists, she says, to explain the many and complicated variables of race, class, gender issues, social policy, employment issues, governmental interventions that are at the root of the diverging trends and pejorative TV scripts. It's enough to note that there's a major rethinking of fathers' roles and the responsibilities going on within the context of lots of rethinking in America. We may be considering how families should be defined. We may be confused about gender roles. We may be struggling with knowing how to parent well in a complicated time, but in the midst of this confusion, there is a growing consensus that what kids need, and need at least, is, and this is clear, kids need their fathers as well as their mothers. Who would have thought the latest in social science says children need a father and a mother? 